look at uh, things that the president said, and I harken back to Ronald Reagan, and you know, sort of there he goes again. Um, Trump has consistently made false and misleading claims that have only served to divide this country. This notion, for example, about uh, DACA, that somehow he wants to fix DACA, he's been with that the whole time, it's just absurd. I mean, he is the one who undermined DACA and then threw it into the Congress's hands, and they can't seem to be able to do anything about it. He didn't have to do that. He did it. So let's remember, that's what he did. And people who clap for him are essentially embracing what he did. You know, he talks about immigrants and how they're such a danger to this country. So here's the fact. Since 1975, immigrants from Trump's seven travel ban countries caused zero fatalities. In contrast, guns, whether through suicides, murders, or accidents, contributed, and I'm not saying caused, contributed to 1.3 million Americans killed. So let's put this stuff in perspective a little bit. All right, what about the economy? Last night, President Trump said that black unemployment rate is at its record low. That is true, my friends. Here, here. But the rest of the story, it's dropped 1% under Trump, and it dropped 8 percentage points under President Obama. <laughs> President Trump claimed that we just enacted the biggest tax cuts and reform in American history. I'm sorry, my friends. Your other president did that. That was Ronald Reagan in 1981. And in fact, though, they had to reverse it five years later with the biggest tax increase at that time signed by Ronald Reagan in 1986. So another fact that I think is important to, to point out. He said there's a war on coal. Well, the war on coal has come from the marketplace. Coal employment has been in a long-term secular decline. And you'll love this, the newspaper industry has actually lost more jobs in recent years than coal. And the solar industry now employs five times more people than coal. Well, it is true that the president is right about the need to improve our infrastructure. American roads, bridges, and mass transportation are in need of, of improvement, and the American Society of Civil Engineers gave the U.S. infrastructure a grade of D+. But that costs money investment. So where's the beef? We got to get the money. So in conclusion, Mr. Speaker, ladies and gentlemen of the House, there's always another side to the story. But I think and I hope that we can keep in mind that there is a lot to be proud of, independent of what we do with the Russian inquiry. And there's a lot that we can do together in this chamber to make things even better. And I hope that we will rededicate ourselves to doing that. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.